Can you combine emotional freedom techniques tapping with a system called Emotional Release Method to eliminate anxiety and other disempowering emotions? Please do stay tuned because you are going to have the opportunity to answer that question for yourself. Stephen Carter here, and I am your host for the EFT Tapping Junction podcast and other podcasts, including Energy Healing for Wellbeing. This show is for you if you're using emotional freedom techniques or you are using other tapping methods such as thought field therapy, trauma tapping technique, positive EFT, or other meridian-based tapping methods for your own self-care. This show is also for you if you're a therapist or a coach helping others. I've been helping people dissolve stress for more than four decades using a variety of methods to include, of course, EFT, thought field therapy, hypnosis, NLP, and a range of other holistic tools. You can learn more about my background and work by visiting eft-md.com, eft-md.com, and I encourage you to visit another great resource, stressreliefradio.com, that's stressreliefradio.com. With what's going on in the world right now, is it any wonder that anxiety rates are through the roof? EFT is, of course, a great resource for keeping anxiety under control, but I'd like to introduce you to a combination of two methods that I've personally used and I've used with clients very successfully for a number of years. I'm going to walk you through the combination of emotional release method with EFT tapping. Before we begin a bit of a legal notice, the information that I offer in this podcast and indeed all of my podcasts and blogs, well, it is for information only. If you choose to listen to this information, if you choose to participate then you agree to take full, complete, and sole responsibility for your own well-being. The methods, techniques, and information I share, they are not intended to treat, to diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease, any psychological or emotional condition. With that, if you agree to take full, complete, and sole responsibility for your own well-being and you would like to explore the information and techniques, methods I'll be discussing. Let's dive right in. Rather than take my word for the effectiveness of any method or any technique, why not apply the techniques or the methods and see how they work for you? By the way, there's no need to take notes. I have a free one-page resource for you. To get your free guide, all you need to do is to create a blank email with the subject line ERM, or you can put emotional release method, either is fine, ERM in the subject line. You can leave the body of the email blank and send that message to me at cartermethod at gmail.com, cartermethod at gmail.com, and I will send you that one page guide. That includes everything that we'll be sharing in this episode. Send that along and I will send you that guide by return email. Returning to the process, I invite you to bring into awareness a disempowering emotion, a memory, a situation that when you give thought to it, it creates a charge, an emotional charge on that SUDS or subjective unit of distress scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being the maximum stress level you can imagine. Bring to mind a memory, an emotion, something that is a disempowering feeling within you. Perhaps it's something coming up that you're concerned about that is a future event, but it can also be a disempowering memory that creates emotions that are simply uncomfortable. Choose an emotion or a memory that is somewhere in the three to perhaps six 
somewhere in that range on that sud scale, bring it to mind. There's no need to dive deep into the memory or the emotion. Simply bring it into awareness and then assess your sud's level. Again, somewhere between three and six. And as you bring that into awareness, you're bringing to mind a problem memory, a belief, an image, a sound, sensations, thoughts associated with that disempowering emotion. Notice where you feel the sensations in your body and then rate the intensity on the zero to 10 SUD scale. Go ahead and bring that into awareness. Next, Ask yourself, does this reaction serve me in any way? Does this reaction serve me in any way? If so, how? If not, is it time to let it go? Is it time to let it go? Allow yourself to simply be present in awareness as that question is processed through your system. Your next question, would I be well served to let my reaction go? Would I be well served to let my reaction go? And finally, would I be well served to let the emotional reaction go now? Would I be well served to let the emotional reaction go now? That final question is, of course, an invitation to your subconscious to do exactly that, to let that emotion go now. Move into an observer role and just be with your physical sensations with your body as you allow that question to process. Simply be an observer for about 5 to 10 to 15 seconds. We'll assume that you are ready to let the emotional reaction go now. Your next step, voice in mind or, if possible, out loud. I choose to release and let go of any disempowering emotions or reactions. I choose to release and let go of any disempowering emotions or reactions. Again, simply stay present for about 10 to 20 seconds. And now we move into EFT. Tap on the karate chop point. Say, preferably out loud, I choose to release and let it all go. I choose to release and let it go. You can, of course, substitute a different phrase, but for our purpose here, We'll use, I choose to release and let it all go. Move from the karate chop point to the eyebrow point. Release and let it go. Hold the eyebrow point. Breathe in. And exhale. Slide down to the side of the eye. Release and let it all go. Tap, hold, breathe, and release the breath. Slide to the under eye point. I choose to release and let it all go. Tap there, hold that point, take an in and out breath, and Let go of any stress that you notice. Go under the nose. Tap there. I choose to release and let it all go. Hold. 
in and out breath. Good. Under the lip, I choose to release and let it all go. Good. Hold and breathe. Collarbone, I choose to release and let it all go. And here, tap across the chest and tap shoulder to shoulder, up and down the sternum. Good. Hold. In and out breath. We'll skip the underarm position. Go to the crown. Tap the crown point. Hold. In and out breath. Bring your hands over your heart. Left hand over right. Right hand over left. Either is fine. Close your eyes if they're not already closed. And as you release that breath, say the word peace. And now give it a yawn, stretch, sigh. (laughs) Good, 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 good. Yawn, stretch, sigh, big stretch. Now tune in to your body. Try to bring the memory, the image, however you created that emotional response before, and notice what's different. Do you have a different suds level? I'll bet your suds level has dropped significantly. If it has not dropped, go ahead and repeat another round of tapping. In some instances, the suds level may actually have increased. And what that tells us is there's another underlying issue that needs attention. Repeat the process, identify what's going on. In all likelihood, there's a different image, a different memory, or a change in the structure of the memory. And if that is the case, again, go ahead and repeat the entire process until you are satisfied as far as your suds level or until you've hit zero, in which case you're done. To recap, one, you bring to mind the issue, emotion, memory, whatever you are choosing to work with. You bring that into awareness and you get your suds level. You ask questions. Does this reaction serve me? If so, how? If not, is it time to let it go? And give yourself emotional space to feel the answer to that question. It may come up in mind cognitively and say, well, yes, of course it's time to let it go. But we want to give a few seconds for you to get a somatic answer in addition to any cognitive answer that comes to mind. Your next question Would I be well served to let my reaction go? Again, allow space for a somatic answer in addition to any answer that comes to you in mind. And finally, would I be well served to let the emotional reaction go now? And that's your invitation to the subconscious to say yes. I am choosing to let this go now. Next, you voice in mind, or preferably out loud, I choose to release and let go of any disempowering emotions or reaction. You stay present, again, 10 to 15 seconds, to allow that to process somatically as well as cognitively. And then you tap through the usual points, using that same phrase or a different phrase of your choosing, I choose to release and let it go. In with hands to heart, in breath, out breath, release any tension. And on the final out breath, say the word peace. And then give it a yawn, stretch, sigh. And when you're ready, you can return to whatever activities you need to attend to with a new sense of calm, confidence, and emotional peace. 
Do remember, I have a one-page guide for you that walks you through each of these steps. To get your free copy, simply create a blank email with the subject line reading ERM or emotional release method. Either is fine. Address the email to me at cartermethod at gmail.com. Send it off, and I will send you that one-page guide by return email. Do remember also you can visit us at eft-md.com to learn more about my background, and you can also listen to previous episodes there and subscribe. You can subscribe or follow in your favorite podcast listening app there as well. And to hear other Stress Relief podcasts, visit us at stressreliefradio.com, stressreliefradio.com. Until our next episode, your host here, Stephen Carter, and I wish you and your loved ones blessings in abundance.